Hey, hey everyone. Welcome to today's daily tune in. It's Monday. And okay, I got, I have kind of, um, hmm, I don't know, it feels serious. It feels very truthful. It feels a little bit nerve wracking for me to share some of the, the information for today, but I don't think it's anything you don't already know, but addressing some of the, um, some of the uglier, fat, darker facets of our world is always a little bit nerve wracking to me because I've always been one that, you know, didn't want to shine light on stuff that's, that's, you know, we don't want to bring attention to, but at the same time, it kind of goes into the whole idea of, you know, we can't keep ignoring, uh, the, the, the darkness that we have within us that we have in our, in our world and expect it to go away. So I want to clarify some of the things going on in the world today. The, um, the, the title for today is, uh, the, I don't have the title. It doesn't show me what it is, but the puzzle pieces, things are moving around behind the scenes. I kind of gave my Ascension Bank members a little sneak peek of, of this message on, on Saturday because it came in really on Saturday, but it's been marinating in, in my, my consciousness for the last couple of days. So I've been able to make some more sense of it. But first I want to just, um, I, you know, I woke up this morning really disoriented. I slept hard last night. And when I woke up, I woke up much later than I typically do. And, um, I just like, I was disoriented and, and I, I'm so fascinated about this whole process. So I really tune into how I feel and, you know, what, what, what is, um, what's happening in, in energetically and in, in when I feel differently. And when I woke up today feeling so disoriented and what they, what that really means for me is I felt really, um, I want to say heavy, but not emotionally heavy, but just like lethargic. I was really lethargic. I got out and out of bed and uh, was just kind of like, whoa, like I felt like I, I, what I knew had happened was a massive up level energetically. And when that does and you shoot up, it means that, you know, you're, you're kind of calibrating to a whole new, a whole new vibration, a whole new frequency, a whole new reality, call it what you will, but it's all, all of those things. So I was just kind of like, Whoa, I went to bed in one, you know, one reality and woke up in another reality. So it's the same, the same now moment, the same physical space, but just a different energetic consciousness in which, you know, in which we operate in that space. So it was just kind of like, whoa, when I woke up and just all day, I've been just logically and emotionally and consciously kind of pulling it all in and calibrating. So I wanted to see if any of you are feeling, hi, London, or, uh, hi, London, um, Kazembi, hello, welcome, and Christine, if you are feeling disoriented in, in any way, just, you know, share what that might feel like to you. What I want to start doing is, is trying to get a collective understanding of what maybe these like that what we're feeling together and what it looks like or or sounds like in words through for a lot of you I want to start making connections of how these words that we have um you know individually these meanings that we have I want to shine light on different perspectives of them so if you're feeling disoriented or a little off or something share just as much as you can um, okay. Trish said happened to me a few days ago, tried to get up, but was so freaking dizzy, had to get back in bed. Yeah. I, I, I um, that's part of that door disorientation this morning. Actually, it was funny. Cause when I did get up, I was like, Whoa, I got up a little too fast. So there, there is this, because it is a whole different frequency of being. So it, it, it sets off everything. So you had an up level as well. Room spinning as if I drank too much. Yeah. Okay. So that's that disoriented kind of feeling in, in different words. So if you all are feeling something that feels a little off, uh, excuse me, um, you know, that's that's in the energy right now. We had a huge, massive, massive influx over the, the last couple of days on the Schumann resonance. You can see a lot of activity um, and a lot of that activity goes all the way down into our soul, you know, to soul level frequencies, all the way down into the higher frequencies of 40 Hertz and above five, the fifth dimensional frequency is at, starts at the lowest frequency of five, the fifth dimensional frequency starts at 40 Hertz. So, um, 
you know, we're, we're, we're moving up to that being the, the baseline frequency of our earth, of our planet, where remember it used to, the baseline was at 7.8 and we are rising all the way up to at least 40 Hertz. So this is a, like a massive shift. It's going to take us a little bit to get there collectively, but, um, but that's why it's, it's, it's such a disorienting, disorientating, like, um, ascension process because it does it's so different from the, the low dense frequency of <laughs> that's that's my sound that i put to, to it the low dense frequency of what earth was compared to going and coming up in frequency that's all happening within us so it's you know it's we'll have those days where it disorients us because we'll have those massive spikes that jump us up in in frequency um confused at time, like time frames. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I get that. It's hard to put into words. It's so that's why I try to make this as practical as we can, because energy can be so hard. I've always had a hard, really hard time expressing myself in the, in, you know, in conversations in the world, because I couldn't really put together how I felt and put words on it. So this daily tune in is really helping me to come up with metaphors and, 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 and translating energy into practical, practical words, um, fatigued a couple of days ago, feeling, um, Meyer up today, um, feeling something up today. Sorry, Paul. I'm not quite sure what Meyer is. Hello from Scotland. Hi, Nicola. Nice to have you here. Yes. A bit off this morning and a bit of vertigo basically just strange had to take a walk in the park to feel normal that I just got back from a walk as well. So yeah, um, feeling a bit strange. I've been feeling strange. Every time I wake up, the dreams have been intense, lots of working in dreamland. Yeah. Thank you for saying that, Alicia. I, I too, um, almost every, I never used, I used to dream a lot and would journal. I got so many messages and so much growth out of like journaling about dreams. And then I've had like a couple of years without dreaming. And now I'm back into it. And these dreams are wild. And even my husband, like, you know, he's been making noises at night. I, we, we like, we laugh at each other because like the other night he was sleeping and he was like screaming in his sleep, you know, he's going, <laughs> and it was like, and I know he just has to like, he's having his work done. He's doing his work because in those dream states, there is so much energetically being done. And there's so much work being done that then will translate into the physical, we'll work it out in the physical realm, in our 3D realm. Um, I don't want to say 3D because some of us aren't in 3D anymore, but the physical realm of, of our existence, it'll be worked out. So I like I don't wake him up or stop the dreams because I know they're, they're part of the ascension process. They're part of the energetic work that is being done. There's a lot of subconscious um, uh, paradigms that are being that are being kind of sucked out energetically by our, our galactic teams, our angelic teams are doing a lot of work at night and helping us cleanse and clear the subconscious mind. And what, and, and dreams a lot of times are the subconscious mind processing our day. But now because of these higher frequencies, there's all kinds of stuff being processed and all kinds of stuff being purged energetically so that we can then purge them in the physical form. So, um, feels like I'm in a pressure cooker. Yeah. Uh, more up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Paul. Oh, more up. I see. I got, usually, I mean, I was trying to decipher it more up today. Good. Yeah. So there's a lot of different things like disoriented feelings, um, feeling kind of like we're, we're straddling to, you know, two realities, which we really are. We're in, you know, the, the old reality, like this morning I stepped up and last night I was in this reality and then you know, this morning I was in this reality and it looks the same, but you can tell energetically it's not. So then we, we've got to bring that into our physical day and, and calibrate that out. So again, lots of part of this message is about move, um, moves being made. So there are so many moves being made behind the scenes to, um, to kind of uh, move these puzzle pieces. So I'm gonna, I'm, I want to kind of go into the message at this point because there's a lot happening. And as much as there's, ha there's stuff happening to all of us, 
There's also these, these collectives. We have the 3D collective where there's a lot of change going on. There's a lot unfolding. There's a lot unfolding in the fourth dimensional collective and in the fourth dimensional realms and then in the five, fifth dimensional. So there is a lot of chaos. So a lot of a, like this collective is waking up disoriented because there is so there is now an information tsunami, a truth tsunami that is hitting the, you know, the waves is now like just rolling in in the third third dimensional world. And it's addressing all of the things that for millennia really has been taking place. All of the cover-ups, all of all of the things that 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 you know dark beings or or, or you know the um, manipulative deceptive beings have been keeping hidden for their own advantage now a lot of that is starting to pour forth and open up and more and more people are seeing what all has been hidden and it's becoming this information is coming out more and more where there's now irrefutable evidence of showing that there is there has been so much going on that we couldn't, many people couldn't see, many people who did see and who, you know, have been speaking out were, were labeled, they were labeled crazy, they were labeled conspiracy theorists. All, a lot of the conspiracy theories are now coming with so much irrefutable evidence that is now showing that there is enough truth for people to pay attention to. And for those who didn't want to see it, for those who didn't want to look, for those who wanted to stay blind, this tsunami of information now is, is almost where you can't ignore it anymore. And now the truth of what all has been going on underneath our feet or underneath our noses is now becoming obvious. So this 3D world is, is taken quite... Um, quite, uh, you know, is now taking in a, a lot of light, this information, right? This information from, from light energy that is coming in, waking people up, expanding their consciousness. Now they're, they're, they're looking from an expanded consciousness. And at the same time, there's a really big push of, and I'm going to talk about where it's coming from, a really big push of, new, of, of information that's revealing a lot of the darkness that was happening. So there's a lot of people in this world who are feeling disoriented because they're like, oh my God, my world was not anything like I thought, or I argued for that, or I, I tried to protect that. That was something I, I, I wanted, like I didn't want to believe. So I argued that it wasn't, you know, something to believe. And now I'm seeing that there is, you know, that there is truth to that. And the, and the feeling when we realize that we have been wronged or that we have been wrong in our beliefs. And I don't mean wrong as in like incorrect, but we've been misled and we have argued for the very thing that we've been misled in. And then we have to stop and say, gosh, like now I've got to admit that I'm wrong. And we know that our egos do not want to be wrong. They don't want to be misled. And when they find out that they, they have been, it's really painful. So we've seen a lot of things. There's a lot of new evidence to the, you know, the fact that the spiritual war that has been been playing out for millennia, right? The spiritual war is uh, from a higher level, the light, you know, versus the dark and all of that, th those words that I don't love, but it just puts it into words. But now um, what we're seeing in, in our time frame in this modern day all of the things that we have been taught are now coming into more light. And we're starting to see that much of our, our systems, like almost everything that our systems have been set up on, have been set up on a very deceptive narrative that are coming to light. We're seeing more and more of how our politicians have, have, um, have acted, have behaved behind the scenes. We've seen how money has been used as a manipulator and a deceptor of, um, of our healthcare systems. There is sufficient data now, um, you know, the detrimental effects on, on human health. Um, it's getting harder and harder to conceal all of the things that have been used in deception for the masses for the benefits of a, a small a small um, percentage of, of the 3D world. But what's happening is, oh, so one more thing I want to just say, the human psyche right now is about to break 
and will seek resolution. So the human psyche and the 3D, as all of these truths come out and these, you know, things become more and more irrefutable to, to argue against, the, the human psyche now is it's either going to break or it's going to be resolved by by then starting to rise up in consciousness and starting to then accept responsibility. This is where the personal responsibility thing starts happening. Many of you have already been through this. Yeah, the disclosure. Yeah, I'm tr uh, Trish, we massive disclosure is just going to be like phew, phew, just thrown out at this world because it has to be to start waking people up. And it when and one of two things is going to happen as people start to wake up faster and faster and faster. They're they're either going to break because they can't handle it or they, you know, spiritually they're like I'm not going to I'm not going to say I'm wrong and hanging on to all of that, not wrong. I want to keep correcting that because it's not right or wrong. It's just, you know, the 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 ego sometimes will not allow one to admit or to humble themselves and take personal responsibility for their actions, for their behavior. So that's when the break happens. The break then becomes whatever, however it's expressed in individuals, or they can do the other thing, which is like, oh, humble, take personal responsibility. I will tell you that's the hardest part of this whole ascension process is taking personal responsibility of how you have accepted some pretty crappy things in your life and how you have, you know, not say you, but I've had to do that. I've had to, to, to humble myself and say, man, I, I let someone in my life for way too long that didn't deserve to be there. I have accepted um, narratives and argued for narratives where now I'm like, that was all such a lie. And I, I defended that and having to take personal responsibility for that is really hard. I argued for a spe spe specific thing and 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 it turns out that it was it was kind of a lie or I I I operated in that system and I tried really hard to be in that system and do a good job in that system and to play along and I paid all my bills to that system and and I now I see what it is and I'm pissed. I'm pissed that I didn't see it sooner. So having to take personal personal responsibility about what we have said yes to for so long when it was deceptive is a really hard thing to do. And it's a humbling process. So there's going to be many in this year, in 2020, and especially in this, these upcoming weeks and upcoming months that are going to be in that position of choice. What's happening is now this fourth dimensional reality is where the moves are being made. OK, so this reality is like all of these puzzle pieces are now slipping in the place. And now people here are starting to see what the picture on the puzzle is. And they're like, whoa, that was not the puzzle I thought I was putting together. Like that ain't the puzzle I want to see. And these this the 40 um, collective, these are the people who've risen up. They see this for what it is now. These are, I was making lists. I'm like, who are all these people? And I put vessels of light. Okay, so that's some like spiritual woo-woo terminology, yes. But what did what is this in the practical world? These are the 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 people that are exposing those those puzzle pieces that are putting them all into place. These are the doctors that are standing up against the, you know, against the the narrative. These are the um, independent reporters. Joe Rogan just did a pretty massive um um, interview last week of uh, Dr. Malone, and he just like blew, I mean, blew up the internet. It's all over the place now. And, um, you know, and, and these people are no longer afraid to speak out because now it's irrefutable. Evidence is irrefutable. And people are like, I can't hang on to this anymore. I've got to speak out no matter what happens. But this 4D collective is growing and growing. So these people now, these vessels of light are starting to get more and more support. These are the protesters that are standing up against, you know, governments and mandates and restrictions. These are the um, independent journalists. These are the scientists that are now coming forward saying, OK, like, here's my science. <laughs> like, I'm now speaking out. This world is still trying to censor that, keep it, you know, to keep it under wraps. But it's getting harder and harder because because of, you know, the, the modern world we live in. All of these people are, are, are banning together. They're coming together. We are all coming together to, to shed light, to, to bring light. And the more light that goes on here, 
then more light shines down here, illuminates more and more here. And now people start to rise up. This is the revolution that's happening, y'all. And do you realize that you're part of it? You are, you are here. Like I am here in this, you know, in, in these realms, I'm going to start going like this. These are the realms that are shining light. We are the revolution. We, we the revolution. There's a song I love. I have to bring it. I have to put a link on it to this guy, Jimmy Levy. I don't know if you guys have seen him, but he's got a really cool song. It's been playing at a lot of the, the protests and stuff, but it's all about the revolution's not going to be televised because where does the media, where does the, where does the television come from? It comes from this world that's fueled by the narrative, by fueled by the, the you know, the dark that censors as much as they can up here. This is the new narrative. This is the more, you know, more aligned in truth and light and knowledge and wisdom and pulling people into a higher state of being. And they do that by expanding in the consciousness of, of knowledge of physical world knowledge. At the same time, our galactic friends and our, you know, our cosmos is sending even, and, and our planetary orbit is also sending us energetic light that is expanding our consciousness. Cause so our minds are like being blown by everything we're experiencing, everything we're seeing, everything we're learning, everything, all the things lighting up. So the disorientation is, is actually a good thing because we are becoming more and more knowledgeable. We are becoming higher and higher in consciousness. And this is a really exciting thing. So at the same time, then this fifth dimensional world is still, still having to be created. We're still going on. We're doing our work down here to shine light. We're up here creating this world. And these, we here have to still keep rising up, doing our own work, doing our own work. We're going to see some bits of information that come up from here. And we're going to be like, whoa, I didn't see that coming. Holy crap. Or we're going to experience a loss of something that was important to us in our 3D worlds. And, you know, and that's still going to come up and we're going to be like, man, that hurts. But we, we have the knowledge, we have the higher wisdom of how to trap, you know, navigate through those things that hurt us through, through those things that, you know, that might piss us off. We're, we're more knowledgeable now. So as the, that stuff comes up and filters up, we're going to see it. We're going to feel it. We're going to purge it, let it go. And we're going to keep going. Because remember, we are the pioneers that have already trans, transversed out of this 3D world. We made our way into the 4D world. This is where a lot of the light has taken place. Still a lot of purging, still a lot of work. And then we're going to keep going up and building this new world. Um, little by little, as the the energies take us up and rise us up into those higher those higher frequencies. So we are the growing revolution. Like there's a revolution happening, and we are the defense of. And again, I hate using these words, but it's just like for what we know of what war is, we are the ones that are now like this. This war has been going on of of mind manipulation and and mass psychosis. You know. Um, the Malone, Dr. Malone was talking about that, the mass psychosis and how we have been hypnotized through fear and chaos. And as a hypnotherapist, that's how you really get someone under is, is to overwhelm the conscious mind. So it kind of shuts down and then you can get into the subconscious mind, but you can use that technique deceptively by overwhelming the collective minds in fear and in chaos. And if you look at different news stories, you see it written this way, you see it written that way, you see it written this way. And you're like, which one do I believe? And this has been going on for hundreds and hundreds of years. So people don't know what to believe. They don't know where to look and they're just in line and they're like, okay, I'll do, I'll do that. Whatever, you know, whatever you're telling me to do right now. And okay, now I got to do that. And then, and you know, I got to pay my taxes and I got to go do this. And then I got to go to work and then I got to do that. And it just, it just, everything just gets so overwhelming that we become robots of the systems that we have said yes to. That mass psychosis has been how we have been at war without knowing that we are at war with this deceptive use of the mind and mind control with all of these new frequencies and all of these evolved individuals coming online and the consciousness rising. Now we have a greater power of light, which we know spiritually has already won because the light always wins, right? It already has won. So all we have to do is keep expanding our light. And that's how we blast out. Now we are the revolution of light that just keeps blasting our light out with truth and standing our ground and putting up barriers and borders. And, and you know, and we, we protect ourselves first and then protect our loved ones. And then 
join forces with others. I could think of all the strategy. That's how we do it in consciousness. And now we are the ones, we are the ones. How many times have we seen memes that say, we are the ones we've been waiting for, right? That's what all of this is looking like. And it's simply just being our sovereign selves, being in our, our place to, to keep growing and growing and supporting others when they need our support. And we are just a massive collective that's growing and growing and growing. And eventually we will take, um, I mean, I think we already do. We're starting to get critical mass in the mission of just holding the line and being the light of consciousness that will put this spiritual war to end, you know, to the end. Okay. Let's see. What else we got? <sighs> Let me take a deep breath. It is time. Hooray for truth. Yes. Me too. Oh, we got somebody. Oh, I was gonna. I was all excited about the weird, well, weird alphabet that looks like Ukrainian alphabet, but it was just some weird. Um, what's that called? Spammy stuff. I often feel chest vibration. I am now in. Yeah, is that normal sometimes in my legs and feet? Um, yeah, the the chest vibration. Now, anything that has to do with the body, I'm always gonna say like, use your discernment if it's a concern. Don't ever, you know, take and just be like, oh, it's just this and you for and not go to the doctor. If you feel like you got to go to the doctor and then go to the doctor, because there are really good, you know, doctors and scientists out there that can that can help with many good things. So not everybody's, you know, bad in, in that world. However, that said, our hearts, yes, in this 4D, in this 4D reality, which many of you are now, I would imagine, operating in pretty anchored in pretty, pretty regularly. This, the 4D is the emotional center. Of, it's the energetic center of who you are. The root, the seat of that is in that, in your heart space. The energetic seat of the fourth dimensional you is in the heart space. So remember, as it's expanding, you're, you're going to feel like whoa, 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 palpitations. Okay. And, you know, we've been taught to fear. Oh my God, palpitations, I'm having a heart attack. I talked a couple weeks ago about piercing pains I felt in that area that, you know, like I had to work through, I had to like, make sure that I didn't like lose, <laughs> lose my, my poop because I was getting a little bit nervous, but they just walked through and how I know it's okay is it's not something that keeps happening. It's just, it was temporary. It was 15 minutes. But I, what I also understood is that these energies are, are zapping all of the densities in our, in our energetic space and allowing ourselves to, to expand emotionally and energetically. And yes, that will have some physical, physical feelings and down in your legs. What, what, what could be happening? Uh, what's coming to me is that all, as we ground these down, like, you know, if you, if these energies are coming in here and you're grounding them down, it goes through your legs, grounding down into the physical earth, right? So we're grounding these energies down into earth so we can calibrate with the same energy and frequency of earth. So, you know, leg pains, legs are associated with our root chakra, our, our, our security and physical form. So it might be that you're readjusting yourself if you're feeling leg pain, um, that you're readjusting to a whole new physical life, um, getting rerouted, so to speak, in in physical form. If if you've made changes changes in your life or your life, that physical life is transforming in some way, it, it makes sense that you might have lower back pain financially. If there's a financial struggle, your lower back again associated with the root chakra, with your you know your family, your stability. So anywhere where lower um, extremities of pain are typically related to um, in, a, a, um, a concern um, of, of your physical security. Hey, Aubrey, welcome. Yes, we are the revolution. Yeah, cognitive dissonance. Um, exactly, Trish. We all have to go through it. Some of us just got it earlier. Yeah, there had to be the pioneers, right? That we had to go through it before we kind of knew what was going on. And we just went through our journeys. We chose it. We were aware of it. We're like, I'd rather go in the direction of growth than to stay where I was or stay where I am. So we now that we understand this process, that's exactly how we we have risen up to be able to then, you know, it's the whole adage of putting your hand down and pulling someone else with you, not like dragging them, but it has to be a choice. Like we have tried many of us 
I know, have tried dragging people behind us. And then it gets, comes to a point where you've got to save yourself first, right? So we let go of, of those people to allow them to have their own journey. We have our journeys. And when it's time for us to then support others because they are choosing to ask for help, then we put our hand down and, and support others. Um, hi from Toronto. I love these updates in this community. Me too. I love this community as well. I woke up so angry today. Walking meditation helped in the Vegas nerve music. Per oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Um, I do a lot of like, I pull in a lot of things on, um, oh, I want to share this, this girl with you guys on, on YouTube. I do a lot of YouTube um, meditations or I find music if I, you know, needing some healing of some sort. YouTube has been has been a good resource, but there's a girl. Oh, it's weird. I just turned on YouTube and I'm on there talking to me. <clears throat> um, hold on one second. This girl is the most beautiful YouTube channel. Sorry, y'all. I I, I want to hear. It's called my, I'll put it, actually, let me put her in here. Um, just search for her. Uh, I can't see my, my glasses. On YouTube. Um, she is just the most beautiful angelic voice. And I've, I've had so much comfort from her. I'll just put her in my ears at night and kind of like do my meditation and allow her to, to sing in my ears. Um, reading the dizzy comments. Yes. This past weekend was wild. Felt like I had to grab my head and reattach it to my body. Yeah. That disorientating, disoriented feeling is, is very, very common right now, especially it's common in Ascension altogether. But um, because of the influx, I mean, tons of it, tons, massive energies. Uh, and you might be getting more and more um, attuned to them. So you don't even know. You just start to feel the, the symptoms of, of energies coming in. That's what I, I know now. Like I'm like, ooh, there's stuff coming in. I sometimes will look it up to, for confirmation. But I'm finding more and more as I, you know, as I, I rise up into these, these, these higher realities, I don't need to confirm things anymore. Because that that expansive consciousness and the 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 connection that I have and you all have probably with your your guides, you can just ask and you'll just know and you just trust the process more than ever before. I felt like I was being pulled out of my body. I freaked out. It was so intense. Yeah. And you know, that's a good good um comment, Gail. Thank you for saying that because we do sometimes have to like ground ourselves in, you know, like if you feel you're you're getting because we can ascend too too much where it can break us, you know, it can not break, but it, you know, we can ascend too too quickly. Um, so there are times if you're feeling like that, you're feeling like you're like, okay, and I've had times where I'm like, okay, I can't take anymore. Like I will literally say it out loud to my guides and be like, okay, I'm done. And then you start breathing it through ground down where you are, breathe up, breathe in. And when you breathe out, when you exhale, you, you imagine it, that, that energy going through your body and grounding down. So bring, make sure you're grounding yourself down into the physical world, um, heart palpitations and felt drunk. Yeah. 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 Heart palpitations are a big one. Oh, and Aubrey too, especially, um, yeah, for you seeing lights in eyes at night, more orbs. I've been seeing a lot of little, um, little orbs all around. Uh, I love that kind of stuff because it's um, very exciting for me um, because that they, you know, those, these are the, 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 you are they UFOs, are they angels, whatever it is to you. For me, they're, they're angels and it is confirmation of everything I've always known, but haven't been able to see, but I've been seeing a lot more things in, in the physical reality. Um, when you have to drag them, they become so heavy. Yeah. When they choose, they can walk. Yeah. Good. Oh, that's a beautiful way to put it, Trish. I, the, the, yeah. That's why I love you guys. Cause you can put words to things that sometimes I don't, I don't find. Dragging people along is, is heavy. Leaving them behind is one of the hardest things. Uh, you know, it's one of the hardest things for us as we choose ourselves. And, it, you know, we've been so ingrained that choosing ourselves is selfish and it's egoic, but there is a part where it, there's like the soul-based, you know, I'm going to choose my set myself with capital S that is my soul. That is like my, my God self. And knowing that when choosing that self, the rest will come that, you know, those who are ready to walk with you will walk with you. And then there's that egoic self, the small, the small part of us that it's like, Oh, I'm choosing me. And I don't care about any of you. 
we choose the self for the, the good of all, knowing that those who want to rise up with us will go with us. And that's a really hard leap of faith to make. And I, I know that so personally. Love the guided me meditation you did on our guides. Yeah, and the Ascension Bank, you guys, I did a really, really cool um, uh, hypno meditation that I put out on Saturday. And it was making contact with your um, galactic uh, galactic team. And it was so powerful. I was like, like this afterwards. I literally had to just kind of like chill out. That's when I was afterwards. Um, after I delivered that, I that was one of the moments where I was like, okay, no more, you guys. <laughs> I don't want to do any more work today because I like there was so much energy coming through when I was recording it. Um, Trish Myland, yeah, you know her. She's like, she's amazing. I just came across her. I'm like, where has she been my entire life? She's so beautiful to my soul when she sings. I think we're soul sisters. I hope I meet her someday. I don't need the solar monitors anymore, Aubrey. Yeah, I'm getting less and less. I I go to them just to kind of bring some context when, you know, when I share on social media, um, I like a, for, around energies because, you know, there's, there's still those that, that do need the visual. And I, and I understand that. Um, but I'm finding less and less that I, you know, I need confirmation from <clears throat> the tools as well. Thanks for replying. I'm not worried. There's never any pain. Thank you for explaining. I guess I'll still at all of this experience and trying to trust in it all. Yeah. I'm completely in awe of this whole entire thing. Y'all too. It is like the most beautiful, like there are moments where I'm like, this whole process is just so fascinating and I'm so honored to be a part of it. And it's so beautiful and seeing all of these new people coming into my life and all of these new conversations. And then there's the times where I'm like, F this shit. Like, this is the worst. Like, why would I ever, why would my soul pick this? And I don't want to be a part of it. And how many times have I been like, I'm, I'm done. I'm, too, I'm not doing this anymore. You know, and then I'm like, the, my soul's like, get up, you know, you're not done, take a nap, watch a show, just tune out for a minute. So it's like, this, so this up and down of this process is, is a roller coaster. But, you know, if I were to just say on average, I think this is one of the most beautiful journeys. And I'm so happy for, for all of you taking part in this with me for, um, for participating. I'd love to invite you to, um, to come by the Ascension Bank and check it out there because we're doing more and more, you know, work in there, but we're also, I'm trying to make it more into a community so that we can continue our conversations and just have a place that like a safe haven for you to come say, I'm experiencing this and not to necessarily get answers all the time, but just to share and not feel alone and feel supported. So, you know, that's underway and, and kind of a grassroots and, you know, it's, it's just growing on its own. So the Ascension Bank is really where I'm putting time from, you know, what we're doing here for free. I'm trying to put more, more effort for like really tangible work related things to help you work through these energies and also support you even more um, on a daily, on a daily basis. So thank you all so much. I, I don't want to make this too long. I could stay on here forever and talk, but um, I want to keep this message to what it is today. Puzzle pieces are coming together. The 3D world is, is, is like really coming together so we can see it. The 4D world, this is when we're, a lot of us are being called into action to support, to continue our own growth so that we can keep rising up to create that 5D world and to anchor into those higher frequencies and to be the ones that are like, pulling, pulling people up in, in frequency with our support. So thank you all for the work that you're doing. You're doing an amazing job um, because I, I feel much, you know, much more enlivened being here with you as well. So um, thank you so much. Love to you all. And one last thing, sorry, I want to just mention the people that have purchased a coffee or sent a donation in for these daily tune-ins. Um, I had it up here and I'm, it was super grateful because it was really fun watching them. I'll name them um, tomorrow because I, I, I don't want to make you guys sit on here while I scroll through looking for it. But thank you all so much for, for those of you who sent in donations. I say it's for a cup of coffee because that's what the link is that you go to. But ultimately, I'm saving up to have um, better equipment, to have a better camera, to um, once we get to our next destination, which I think is going to be our final home destination, um, I'm going to set up a studio and have it just be something really freaking cool and um, for all of us. So thank you for all of the donations. I do appreciate it. Love to you guys. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye.